Wow, I wonder what those things are. Oh, and they even give you a little snack. That's so cool. It's not the greatest snack, but I've had this for a while. Maybe it... five out of ten. Look at these. <laughs> And it says non-toxic. Oh, I'm gonna eat tonight. I wanted to get a Bob Ross wig, but I couldn't find one. I got the next best thing. And honestly, it's probably more fitting anyway, because I do feel like a clown doing art. So this works. Uh, I brought along the, the only painting I remember painting in my life to show you my artistic abilities. This is it. Okay, <laughs> starting not at the bottom, further down. You're very young when, when you're a child. You no, this was 26. I'm 26 29 years. now, so... Okay, when you paint like a child, Picasso, Picasso is very similar to this, the last time of Picasso. I couldn't believe it. My first painting and I was already being compared to Picasso. It was a dream come true. And to be brutally honest, I thought it would take me at least two, maybe even three paintings to reach this level. Today, I'm going to show off my artistic talents and we're going to recreate my merch. That's right, I'm also over there. This particular piece was made by one of my friends, a very talented artist, and I'm going to show that you don't need talent to be an artist, okay? It's going to come out exactly like this one. Uh, painting is something I actually do quite a lot, so uh, this is genuinely something I should be good at. How in God's name are you supposed to hold these things? Is it like this? Does this look cool? <laughs> um, that feels kind of comfortable, that's what, what I'm gonna go with, I think. I'm trying to pick what colors I need, I'm just like, okay, there's blue and there's... I, I don't even know what colors to mix to make another color, so this is gonna be really difficult. <laughs> okay, I think we're gonna start, like, with the jumper. Um, you know when I was saying earlier I painted a lot? I meant like I paint walls a lot. Like I painted this room, I'm quite good at that. Um, this sort of painting, not so much, so <laughs> I don't really even know what to do to start. Okay, this should be simple. We'll just dab on a little bit of paint, little bit, and then we'll just, uh, we'll... <laughs> I can tell this is gonna be a disaster. Wow, that's lovely. Okay, we're off to a pretty... Decent start. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to swap brushes or can I just go nuts here with the same brush? I'm not really sure. <laughs> oh feck, I put my finger in the pit. All right. Well, we just evolved to finger paints. Um, maybe a bit up here. There we go. That's lovely. That's the artist trick for you. I learned that in uh, kindergarten. <laughs> I'm not sure if there's even a point in doing white. I'm just figuring I can get like some texture here and <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. A white is a good idea because it um, White is a good idea. Okay, let's let's try and do his color here. Yeah, this looks basically the same as the actual canvas. This is doing nothing. Maybe I can mix it. I could mix it with something. Uh, <laughs> I could mix it with a bit of black. Black and white makes gray. That's your top tip of the day. Okay, I definitely use too much black. We're gonna need more white. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Wow, that's satisfying. This isn't helping. It's still staying so black. I need... I need gray. <laughs> it's getting a bit gray now, but it's, you know what? It'll do, no one will notice the difference. Oh my God, it's so dark. <laughs> it's so dark gray, look at that. Oh, I just realized there's a little line here as well. Like this line is gonna have to come in. So we'll just do a little swift line there. Wow, that looks, that looks really neat. How do I do skin color? <laughs> like Jim is quite tanned. He's got quite a nice tan going on here. I, like if it were me, I'd just leave it the canvas color, just pure white. Oh, all right, you know what? It didn't make it worse anyway. It didn't make it better either. It looks, oh my God, it's like a ghost. It's like a ghost hand is picking, is like grabbing him on the shoulder. That is so deep. Oh, I thought it was empty. <laughs> all right, now it's like a ghost grabbed him on the shoulder to say, hey, Jim, you got piss all over you for some reason. How do I get this thing off before I ruin it? Hold on, I'll dry the thing so that it can't be interfered with anymore. Oh my God, I can even burn bits. That is so cool. I had so many tools at my disposal that I didn't even use. Oh my God, now it looks like there's a murder here. Oh, why didn't I use these things? Oh, and there's like a lacquer here. That's great. Oh my God, I mean, it's so much more creepy. It looks like he's watching it from the shadows. 
Don't rotate it. That's not going to help it. All right. I think it's time to actually do a very serious recreation of the Mona Lisa. Grab my brush. I think I can actually do a good job if I really put some effort into it. My second name is Mona Lisa, dude, for a reason after all. Okay. We definitely need some tints of this. So let's get my brush ready and I'm ready to go. Voila, my uh, piece de resistance, it is done. I told you I could do it, I told you I was artistic, you know, I put on a show, but really when it comes down to it, I can actually do art. God, how long did that take me? Jesus, six hours, feckin' hell. No, I, I can't lie to you like that, that's um... That's just edited it in. I did paint a, a green screen though, like that was me, so that's kind of impressive. You can see really the different shades of green there. That's minimalist art is what we call it. Wait, what? Oh my god, they're killing him. Oh my god, he's like screaming in pain. Somebody help him. What? He's just smiling. He, he killed his evil twin. Hello, I'm Bob Ross. Oh, hi, Bob. I'm so nervous. I know this is going to go terribly. Today we'll have him run all the colors across the screen right there. Titanium white. Yeah, that's titanium white, I can tell. And we'll take this old brush and just make little X's, little crisscross strokes. Wait, wait, Bob, hold on, stop. <laughs> I'm not ready. What's he done? Pink? I think it's pink. I'm trying to do this in real time so that I really get the experience of painting along with Bob Ross. Little phthalo blue. Wait, hold on, Bob. You're going on to blue and my pink is like still white. <laughs> hold on, I need to pause you for a moment. Oh my God. It, this is going so badly, and all I've done is paint a pink blob. How come his pink blob looks so much better than my pink blob? Without even cleaning the brush, we'll go right into... Right Without into even cleaning, we go into... Little what? Little it's blue. A dark blue, I guess? This kit doesn't look like the best. I didn't pay that much for it. I spent more money on the wig. That was more important. Be careful. Be careful. I'm being careful, Bob. Don't worry. Thank you. His voice is so calming. I understand why people listen to him paint. I love water. <laughs> I'm glad you do, Bob, because I put on way too much water on mine. Okay, he's using a different blue for the water, I guess. Come on. <laughs> I'm just dabbing it like, come on, he's getting ahead. I feel like he's speed running art and I'm just like some idiot behind him trying to play the game. Oh no, I just destroyed my pink. <laughs> no, <laughs> I did blue in it without thinking. Since these are oil paints, we're washing our brushes with odorless paint thinner. Well, I didn't have odorless paint thinner, Bob, so at least I can blame my bad painting on the fumes. Shake off the excess <laughs> and just beat the devil out of it. That's really the most fun part of it. I'm not finding it very fun, Bob, to be honest. It's not fun cleaning. I don't like cleaning at the best of times, and I feel like I'm struggling right now. Anybody can put a little masterpiece on canvas with just a little bit of practice. Yeah. I mean, I know he's saying anybody, but did he envision this <laughs> when he was saying that? The corner of the... Oh, no, he's getting complicated. I'll make it look like little distant trees live far back in the distance. Mine don't look like trees. They don't look like trees at all. I... How is he doing that? The man is a magician with the brush. I think I have too much blues and I don't have enough blues to be doing this much blues. I wonder if I mix in a bit of green. I'm going off script here. Okay, we have remodeled. Let's take a look at what we got. So right away you can see we've got a much nicer common area. You can see that we got some statues of Jim, even though they may not be Jim, but you know what? Jim is saying it's Jim. We've got some decor. We got a nice little kitchen here. We've got some books, a big TV screen, you know, uh, to keep them all in a good mood. And then we have the test chambers. Each of them have a different kind of a theme. So we'll start off with probably the nicest one, the luxury theme. You even your door is a bookcase there. You're looking out into a lovely little garden. You know, it's all synthetic, but hey, looks great, doesn't it? It's the only, well, actually, it's one of two rooms with actual airflow in it, which is kind of nice. It's it's a nice little room. So we'll see how that affects productivity. Then you have the Dear Leader room. It kind of speaks for itself. It just has pictures of the Dear Leader. Then you have the No Privacy room. It's all glass and mirrors. This is the second room that has airflow, but it's at the opposite side of the toilet. And lastly, you have the Light room. 
Now there is a light on every <laughs> every inch of wall space that you can place a light on there. You also have the white floors and ceilings and uh, walls and then you got the white bed you got the lights on the i saw them a second ago there we go the lights on the ceiling so it's just completely bright we've got a little graveyard out out here just so that they know hey look just don't mess around in here you got things good and that's kind of all there is to it now we just need the victims i mean i'd love to have death but i don't know if i can one-up death and get him to be my painting slave hello dark this is my old chum i've, I've befriended the grim reaper Brilliant! I've finally done it! Uh, locked door for everyone but Jim. I think I'm gonna give him this room because he's always been nice. He's he's a smiley guy and I like his name. He just happens to be another Jim Pickens. You will get the dear leader room because you used to be Jim's love interest and I feel like you would love this. So we have two and we only need two more. That's not bad. It's a real shame that most of the people I know are dead. Because this could be a whole lot easier. I don't want to go for elders. I need young blood who'll stay with me for a long time. Wow, this might actually legit be the best thing I have ever painted. <laughs> like, not ironically. Like, granted, I know it's stolen. I, I'm in inspired by something else. But it's good. And that was also, like, super relaxing. I think stealing is just a really relaxing hobby. But you know what? I was a bit hard on that, but I think that was worth $32,000. What the hell is this? Some sort of survey? I don't want to read it. I believe in money. <laughs> She's so happy with the cat. I love your style. It's so unique. I assure you, it isn't. <laughs> this guy's smiling face is pissing me off. There we go. That's better. Oh, she wants another order. The one I sent the jellyfish to. She'll give me a surprise gift. Well, then your painting's going to be a surprise too. These crypto punks are quite high on the board. What? Whoa. Why are they so much? This one's 240 Ethereum. And it actually sold for that? Okay, I'm going to do her a hell of a deal and I'm going to send her this one. The problem is I'm giving her too good of a deal here. So I'm just going to speed run this one. Okay, I'm going to give myself 120. 20 seconds. Oh my god, I'm getting really quick though. <laughs> and this might actually be okay. Okay, quick, 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 fi fin finish it off. <laughs> I'm panicking, sorry. NFTs just mean so much to me. I don't want to send out a half ass product. Wow. And yet here we are. <laughs> okay, send that, I suppose. It looks better than the original, if you ask me. I'm sorry, Natalie, or whatever your name was. <laughs> oh no, I have a mission to take at least three lovely pictures, but I threw my camera in the bin. <gasps> I should buy this. Oh wait, no, that's not an NFT. That's just a spoon. That won't appreciate in value. You. Let me buy this mop. I can paint with that. In the meantime, can I just sell a blank canvas? Someone will think it's art for sure. <laughs> Denies the status of art to unpainted canvas. Oh, oh, hold on one second. There. I think I got some on there. Yeah, <laughs> it's on its way. Yes, my mop. I'm ready to go. Okay, and mop. Oh, that, okay, and mop painting. Now, wow, that's... Pretty neat. It looks like I just got sick on it. My fame is growing obscure. <laughs> Why are there so many about apes? Is it because the bored ape ones did so well? Because you got Ape Prime, Monster Ape Club, Cyber Kongs, Cyber Kongs VX, Alpha Kongs, Prime Kong, Stoner Ape Club. And I'm not like scrolling for these. They're, they're all like on the front page. <laughs> Clearly, I just don't get NFT. So you know what? I'm going to paint the NFT that I want to paint. Sweet Jesus, I have ruined this room. <laughs> okay, are you ready for the grand reveal of my exclusive NFT, which is going for sale very, very soon? I call it me and Shrek. Actually, no, Shrek and I. Shrek and I, yeah, I like that. Oh, and someone wants a commission, that's convenient. Paint a typical human with a very beautiful earth beach. Yeah, sure. Don't even ask where his arm is coming from, by the way. That's none of your business. Send painting. The hell is this? God, I gave him a way cooler decoration than he gave me. Oh, the cult is here too. That's not a great mix of clubs, is it? All right, there's my hedge maze. I'm pretty sure it's not tall enough. I think you'd be able to see over the top. She's just falling on the ice out there. Like, should we... Should we bring her inside or? Oh my god, she's sprinting now. God damn it, she just walked right through it. All right, that's my new hedge maze. What do you think of it? All right, have fun looking for a way out. See, if she didn't ruin the fun of the first one, then, well, actually, no, she would have died either way. That was the plan all along. I wonder if she'll freeze or starve to death first. That'll be interesting. Oh, <gasps> my son! He's calling over his son into the bathroom with the Grim Reaper. Tell joke about ducks. I'm sure dead people appreciate ducks still, right? Hey, Roy, uh, shut it. Oh, you don't like it? Go duck yourself. He doesn't even want to hug his pop. Okay, that's it. I'm done with you. You can stay in the feckin' garden for all I care. There we go. Their club is, like, encouraged to paint. So if I just get a load of easels and they paint for me, 
I wonder could I change the members so that they have to have like a good paint skill. Oh, that would get me kicked out of the, <laughs> the club. I guess I can't do that then. Look at the club points we have. 4,500. What can we get? Oh, we can get an upgrade on capacity. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do both of them. A romance bonus. Jesus, I'm liking these. Flirty club vibe. Yeah, go for that. <laughs> get the max one on that. Rally the troops. Unlocks the rally the troops social interaction to keep your club partying all night long. Hey, get that. Secret handshake too. And we're done. Sell, sell, sell. <laughs> and Jim is the one selling them like he has no right. And she's going again. This is great. This is a brilliant idea. Because you know what I want to do next time? I want to open up a retail store. But I can make a club door, which you can get in the perks, right? And get it here. So we'll have a club door. And then I can invite them over and they can be painting. And I can just put them on sale in the store. I mean, the main point of the store is so that we can have a back room and have the two Santa Clauses imprisoned, like, working for the store. It's like, you've done this to the elves for years, Santa. It's pay back time. Oh, look, more paintings are done. Sell them, Jim. This is a moneymaker. This is great. Why are we not funding this? <laughs> I just need more easels. I'll just extend the basement outward. Wait, someone's turning into a vampire. Oh, this guy. I was wondering. He's not even on my lot. He's hanging out down there on the cliffside. Can I adopt him now? Or you know what? I've changed my mind. Have fun dealing with your affliction. No, you can't just roll the roller on the paint tin. You need to actually squirt it out. Hold on. Okay, and his skin is a nice uh, Simpson yellow. So let's get that started. <laughs> um, all right, it kind of goes kind of goes up like that. It, this isn't really the right shade of yellow, but that might be a good thing. It fits in with the rest of the painting because nothing is really right about this. Like the subject is not right. So how could this be right? <laughs> Why does this dimension shift so much every time I paint this? He's being squished into the bottom right. Right corner now. All right, it doesn't matter. This this is good. And if you're saying otherwise, you're wrong. Let's add some lines for some dimension I, I, detail. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. More black. <laughs> the floor is my uh, paint board. I don't know what you call it. Oh God, his eyes. Why is his eye in the middle of his face? That's all right. <laughs> we'll just pull this out a bit more, and then another another eye there. Okay, great. Yeah, this is this is great. Oh, God damn it, I painted over his glasses. All right, you know what? Maybe I should have done the glasses afterwards. I can add that back in. Then one swift way around here to make his beard. Draw on the mouth, which is looking pretty good, if I do say so myself. Add in some eyes. Oh, no. Oh, I've ruined it. Hold on. Let me... All right, that's... That's fine. I don't... <laughs> Yeah, that, that's that's fine. That's really nice, actually. That's not bad. I think that would go for a, a nice price. What is your artist's name? Call me NFT. Oh, oh no, I, I just painted my computer screen by accident. <laughs> is this how digital art is made? Okay, I can't read half your email, but you want a beautiful painting of a unicorn. Instead, I will give you a Bored Ape NFT. But before I unveil any of my masterpieces, I want to talk about today's sponsor, which is Skillshare. That's right, this video is sponsored by Skillshare. And what is Skillshare, I hear you ask? Have you ever thought about becoming the next great artist of your generation or maybe animating a new movie to become the next big blockbuster? Well, thanks to Skillshare's easy to use and engaging classes, you will be on the road to fulfilling that dream of yours. If drawing and animating are not your thing, that's okay. There are plenty of other classes that you can take. Want to become a photographer? There's a class for that. Want to write your own book? There's a class for that. So what are you waiting for? Thanks to Skillshare's passionate community, you too can learn something new in 2022. And let me tell you something, learning a skill is one of the most valuable things you can do for yourself and one of the most enjoyable. I speak from little experience. I don't have many skills, but the ones I do have Great. I recently got a drum kit and I'm using how to play the drum set for beginners by Larry Crow on Skillshare to try and pick up the basics. There's currently a great deal going on too. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. So if you're interested in picking up a new skill, maybe refreshing some of your older skills or getting back into something, take a look on Skillshare. Link is in the description. Thank you so much to them for the sponsor. I really, really love Skillshare. It's one of my favorite companies to work with because I think it genuinely is one of the greatest things you can do for yourself. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. <laughs> I don't think this is how I should apply paint to a roller. Oh, maybe it is. That's about the shade of blue I want. Yeah, that's good. Got some on the wall there. That's fine. Oh no, I just realized I probably should have put it in a bucket because now the blue isn't going to match when I go back for more. Uh, close enough. <laughs> I ran out of blue. Okay, I... <laughs> 
I guess that that's more of a gray on that side. Is this just white? Oh, it is. Okay. Well, I may as well just do it all white and then I can do the stripes afterwards. You can tell by the smooth motions of my spray paint that this is going to be a good NFT. <laughs> I don't even use this anymore. I'm just like, I'll just put it on the furniture. This is a rental. I don't mind. <laughs> Rather than throwing my stuff away, I just hide all of my trash. Welcome to your new home in Sandtrap Flats, a secluded neighborhood with a giant telescope, a mystery shed, and a rocket pad. The shed may or may not contain containment pods, which are suitable up to three people, with used refrigerators, a rusty stove, and broken easels. Make this house a home today. Uh, yeah, so uh, things things escalated. <laughs> it went from having like my little uh, basement uh, compartments to having really high quality containment chambers and uh, uh, putting it in a secret little shed with a high security door and a big observatory and a rocket uh, building pad. So yeah, that's that that escalated. Who who's in there? Oh, why did I even ask? Of course, it's Jim. I don't know if I should allow them to go in next to each other so they can socialize. I mean, I guess they can use their phones. They should have signal under there. Let's get her to build a rocket. Stop. Stop. Now that it's become fun, you're not allowed to do it. Go away. Sell to collector. That's 277. Locked door for everyone but Jim. And locked door for everyone but Jim. This is definitely the most evil lair Jim has ever had, which is kind of surprising. I didn't expect that. No, be better at painting. That's not good enough. $88. For feck's sake, you just made me a loss. Good thing they don't mind sleeping in the same bed. I mean, it seems a bit weird to me. I don't know, should Tim be just like his henchman? Or should he be a sidekick? Who knows, because he's gonna have to carry on the legacy. He, he looks ready for it. Oh no, you know what? A sandwich has cheered him up. Oh, no. Did not a long-term effect, unfortunately. I mean, you can either get busy painting or get busy dying. Yeah, it's the beds that are causing most of the issues. All right, you know what? She's doing the best. I'm gonna give her a bed. There you go. That looks good. It wouldn't be very good anyway, because I'm not technically good at art. But I think I'm just more into the art side of it that you want to express something. And at the moment, the only way I express things is by killing people on The Sims. So this seems like a healthier outlet. <laughs> god, these pencils wear down for- oh my god. Oh my god. Look, everyone. Wait, hold on. Wait, I'll get it. Uh, hold on. My hands are too big for this set. It's a pencil sharpener. I'll give you a little bit of topper ASMR. <laughs> You like that? Yeah, you get it all here! I hope you're relaxed! <laughs> okay, now it just looks like a happy red man. Like, that looks like me if I've been to the beach, just sunburned in a slightly cloudy night. But I guess here's the part where it starts to go wrong for this fella. I just thought how funny it is that I'm genuinely, like, really trying here to make something kind of nice. And if anyone ever saw it and was like, Oh, what's it made out of? I just have to be like, I don't know. Because <laughs> I don't know what that thing is. Lipstick I'm gonna go with. This, like, pencil along with the red, like, blending them. <laughs> Thank you, Bob Ross, for teaching me about that. It makes a very interesting kind of outline. I don't know if it's interesting in a good way or interesting in a, like, Kevin way, but <laughs> it's interesting. I'm wondering if I should put in some orange. Because as this is filling up, this is starting to look very empty, but I could do it with pencil too. Okay, I added in a bit of orange, but I don't really like it. So orange, you glad I didn't go ham and just cover it and have to start again. I'm gonna use more of the lipstick. <laughs> I'm starting to feel like I, I, I'm the kid in Stranger Things, just trying to, trying to get across a point and no one's gonna understand. Except for Winona Ryder. So if Winona Ryder's watching this, I'd appreciate you commenting and just, I don't know, maybe help the others out a little bit. Huh. Not sure where to go. Maybe I should just shade him in a bit with a bit more blue down here. Because my thought was, like, it's just his head overwhelmed with thought. But I guess it kind of affects everything and I should I texture it up a bit. Look at me. Using words like texture. Oh, uh, and duh. Can't forget about that one. I don't know how I got by without it until I made this video. Yeah, this is it. It just, it fills in some of that white. It felt too bright in comparison. This is good. Well, it's bad for him, but... <laughs> Good for us at the moment. I think this appears too light though, right? Because if if you're talking about intrusive thoughts, 
it shouldn't be like, oh, it's fine here, and then they come in here and they start to get bad. Like, it surely outside should be worse. <laughs> He's reaching for the crayon box. Because I'm mixing in so many different types now. Box. Okay, what? Well, uh, a commission? Great. Please paint this for me. An ocean in a very abstract style. I want it on a big canvas. Oh, oh no, I can paint the computer. <laughs> I don't know why I tested it on that part. Oh, that's so in the way as well. Like, if I start to get emails. It's like, oh, sorry, I missed your email. I painted all over that specific point on my screen, so I didn't see it. Wait, what the hell is this thing? And how did I not notice it before? Is this a paint gun? Oh, <laughs> oh, I I'm so happy. All right, I need to paint an ocean. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. I found my new way of painting. And it's actually kind of nice. Like, you got a lot of texture going on here. And th this is what she wanted, abstract. I don't know what I'm talking about in case you haven't realized. <laughs> okay, that already is art. Like, you could see that hanging in a museum and people are going, Oh my god, it's so inspired. Like... It says so little, but yet so much. You know, that's the kind of thing they'd be saying. But uh, I'm not finished yet because I'm above that, literally. Like, I'm, I'm going up above it. <laughs> A sea monster. Look at that. That's kind of nice. Oh, I didn't give him legs. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> he doesn't even swim. He walks along <laughs> the ocean floor. <laughs> There we go. Now, this is a productive day. I did a commission. I made a bathroom. Oh, yeah, I, I just had to go on the wall, by the way. As I said, I made a woman's bathroom, so there's nothing I could do. Oh, you can get spray paint. This probably isn't even my office. I'm, like, renting this place, and I just spray painted the windows. Oh, artists, huh? So quirky. Okay, there we go. Send painting uh, to Laura. There you go. There's your ocean. I hope you like it. Perfect. Yes! Your talent overflows from your art. Seriously, it's dripping everywhere. Y yummy. <laughs> is now a good time to mention I use lead paint. You probably shouldn't be eating that. It's not yummy. My name is Diane Di 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 <laughs> What the hell? That is made up. This is a scam. So I want a painting from you. I want you to paint the momentum. What the hell is the momentum? You gotta be more specific. I'm an artist, not creative. Okay, canvas. Momentum. What the hell is momentum? Um, what if I just Google momentum and then I copy that? Okay, this is what comes up when you Google momentum. So I'll just do a picture perfect copy of this. Okay, so that line's like coming down and then it goes up. The, the, the canvas is too big, but that's not my problem. They can chop off the rest of it when they then they get the painting. Oh god, that was a mistake. That line was a mistake, but it's okay. Just a happy accident, much like myself. Okay, that's off to a good start right there. I'd buy it as it is, but let's improve on it. Oh, I know a good way of doing this. Um, wait, they're kind of like they're, they're kind of gray, right? Look at that. Wow. It's really something. <laughs> Even if I had a kid and they brought it home from school, I wouldn't put this on the fridge. Oh, great, Timmy. Are they are they are they birds or <laughs> Alright, send that painting. Oh, I got paint on the screen again. They asked for another kind of canvas. What? It's done. I don't this is what you asked for. A small one. It is small, isn't it? Well, it doesn't look very small now that I think about it. Oh wait. Oh, oh, right, yeah. This is smaller. It just, I, I thought it was, it was just far away. <laughs> I thought it was the same size, but you know, just, just far away. It's a depth perception issue. What, J Jim? J Jim, Jim, you know there's a blizzard, right? I think it's time you go inside, you lunatic. He's like, yeah, I know there's a blizzard. That's why I got my helmet on, you idiot. <laughs> For an evil genius, he really is an idiot. There we go. That's what we needed. They'll just look across the hall and like, what's that door for? Or no reason, just, just ignore that. Yes, it's working. They're going downstairs. Brilliant. Where's Jim going? No, I already told you, you're not going to work. Prime must live on. I think they're out of room to prepare stuff, so they're just throwing it on the ground. Oh, well, live in your own filth if that's what you want. You know, I kind of want my telescope back now. Should I call someone for help to get out of this hedge maze? It's just so difficult. Painting skill. Perfect. <laughs> this is a weird club. When they're leaving, they're just like, hey, do you mind if I take home my painting? I'm quite proud of it. No, we keep it in the archives. <laughs> Look at this. This is perfect. They're going straight down. Go on, more of you. More of you. The next one I'll get, I'll expand the numbers so there'll be even more painting. This is brilliant. I can't believe I've not thought of this before. This is a master plan. I thought I went overboard on the easels, but actually, I think I could do with some more. Okay, now I've told the cults that they need to paint too, and I've expanded the room a little bit. <laughs> this is insane. All right, make everyone in the club inspired and boost their painting skill. Look at how inspired they are. The place is well decorated apparently because there's so many paintings. Look at the state of that one with the car. <laughs> Tell me that's well decorated. Ah yes, well decorated, <laughs> well decorated. Guys, look at this. Am I a genius or what? Sure, it might be an evil genius. I don't care at this point, as long as it's a genius. And the thing is, I'm not even fast forwarding that much when I'm chopping and changing here. Like they're doing it so quick. The room is filled. <laughs> Everything. 
everything <laughs> everything is done. I want to see how much money I get now. Jesus, someone bought that little man one for $96. The hell are they thinking? 643,576. And we are just getting started. <laughs> like they don't even have good skills yet. Holy be Jesus. This is the best thing I have ever discovered by accident. Look at them. As soon as it's clear, they're all marching down to make more. Yeah, we are definitely opening a shop slash art gallery next time. Oh, it's New Year's Eve, everyone. And what better way to spend it than in this dank dungeon painting for someone else's profit? I mean, you could call it slave labor, but if we're having a blast, who really cares? Oh, wait, sorry. Right. I can put in more yellow here. Perfect. Ruined it even more. Okay. <laughs> like in a lot of... Oh, oh, Jesus. In a lot of my series is that I do, like say bad cooking or baking bad and all those, I like intentionally just take the piss and make stuff worse, but like I'm the least artistic person you'll ever meet. I'm not trying to make this bad, I just am bad. I don't know how to make this better. <laughs> Why are all the brushes so hard? Jesus Christ. Okay, eyes. No, wait, mouth. That should be easier. At least I know where to put it. Oh my God, what has happened? The brush is ruined. That's what's wrong. It's not me. There we go. A nice pearly white smile. He's a, he's a happy boy to be brought into this world. God knows why. Okay, eyes. Eyes should be here. Oh my god, why is it in the center of his face? Uh, it's too late now. I think because my one's looking head on, whereas he's looking sideways. So I was just completely wrong there. Jesus Christ, this is what my sleep paralysis looks like. This is exactly what I see in the corner of my room, and that's why I'm such a twisted person. All right, I'm gonna attempt to make a color for his eyes. I don't even know what color I'm gonna make. I'm just gonna start mixing things. I just ended up with gray. <laughs> this this is the mush I tried to assemble. This is like mush of colors. You know what I'm reminded of? That woman who tried to repair that old painting in some church or something. I'll put it up on the screen, but she basically tried to recreate it and fix it. And that is the exact same art style that I've got going on here. <laughs> I feel like this is what my parents feel like. They look at what they've created and they just say, what have we done? <laughs> like, how did this happen? How did it come out like this? <laughs> All right, now for the nose. I could never really understand noses, like not just in paintings, just in general. I don't get them, you know, I, that'll do, I guess. <laughs> oh no, I tried to make gaps in his teeth, like lines to separate his teeth, and it looks like he's been stitched together. <laughs> I don't know how this happened. <sighs> <laughs> Oh, I'm missing the rest of his shirt. There we go. That's something I can fix, I think. <laughs> I kind of started painting and kind of didn't even think about what I was doing. Not that it would matter, but I kind of ended up like this. Okay, I think we might be nearly done. There's a few finishing touches. I don't think I can do the outskirts, mostly because I think it would match his skin too much because his skin looks like a lemon. Okay, we're gonna add like little bits of detail, I think, because it needs a bit more detail. Right now it doesn't look like a person, but with a bit more detail, I think it could. This is the sort of thing you'd walk in on a serial killer drawing. <laughs> like if a detective came in and saw this, they'd be like, yep, we got our guy. <laughs> they wouldn't even question me. They'd just take me in. Back in Spain on one of the many sunny days of the year, Jose was ready to help me. So, my goal, I don't want to just draw something pretty, I want to make something you from make the heart. Art, art? The art really is the sense of the soul, you know? This is, uh, and express this. When you express this, this is that. It doesn't matter what you do. The, the, the matter is the sincerity of your soul when you make it. Okay, so here we are, the final day. I still don't feel like I'm really ready for this. I I have an idea of something I want to make in my head, but if I've learned anything so far, what I have in my head doesn't translate well when I actually use my artistic abilities. <laughs> Having said that, I think what I've learned as well is I do best when I just kind of go off script and just do things without thinking about it too much. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm, I don't even know what materials I'm going to use. I think I'm going to go with crayon, <laughs> pencils, or whatever these things are. I don't quite know. Art stuffed. The hell does that mean? Is that like the brand or something? Or is that what it is? Okay, well, it's time to put pen to paper in this case. Whatever this thing is to paper. Oh. Oh. I, I have no idea how to describe it, so that doesn't help you at all. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's kind of like crayon, but 
I don't know. Maybe it's just crayon, but like professional because the other ones look like a child would be playing with them. I haven't used an eraser since I was in like school and that was a long time ago. I'm just not used to trying to fix my mistakes. I usually just kind of move on with them. <laughs> okay, this stuff is smudging up good and I, I don't know how to fix that. <laughs> it feels like lipstick. That's what it reminds me of. I actually kind of like the, the kind of imprint it makes. You just get this like... I don't know, satisfying blotchiness to it. And I do feel like a child, <laughs> which again, according to Jose is a great thing. I mean, a child is passionate about what they're doing, right? When, when, when you see a, a child drawing or painting, he's passionate with it. But I don't think I feel that side of it. Well, a little bit, like I'm into it. I just think I feel more like a fool, a kind of childish way. <laughs> this is actually kind of what I was going for. I'm trying to put myself and remember to subscribe to my channel or else more 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 like more 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 like more 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 more